it just had these moments that I was like, oh, I really like this. But it came and went. It wasn't yeah, the whole movie. I totally understand what you're saying there. Like, I really like the, the tortillas. The menu. Yeah. It was I, pretty I said, good. I liked it more than I thought I would. I, I really like the way it's stylized mm -hmm. and the satire of it. It just had these moments that I was like, oh, I really like this. Yeah. But it came and went. It wasn't yeah. the whole movie. I wish it was the whole movie. I, I, I totally understand what you're saying there. Like, I really liked the the tortillas. Uh, yes. He was calling everyone out. With the I love tortillas. that. That was hilarious. I love the insertions of like a break from like the pacing of the movie where they like literally show the ingredients or like the description of the yeah, menu with the picture. Yeah, like a joke in there. Yeah, that was funny. That, uh, that was one of the moments where I'm like, this is a... I like this movie. Yeah. And then like it kind of got back into the weeds of whatever the heck else it was trying to be. It felt like yeah, kind of torn between Like are we going to be like full-blown comedic satire? Yes. Are we actually going to try and be a say horror something? thriller? Yeah. It's not that I wish it committed to one or the other. It's just I wish it leaned into one. Or so I kind of knew how to feel the whole time, I guess. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, because it's like this is funny. And then like the sous chef blows his brains out and you're like oh crap okay and then the ending it's pretty i knew she was gonna get out somehow but like, yeah. i don't yeah. get it yeah i i think i love it i actually really liked it though i, think I it's such a weird feeling sure. i don't get it but i liked it mm -hmm. that's like a weird feeling i don't usually feel that with movies it was such a good scene i loved her ordering and the fact that she saw him like flipping burgers in a picture before mm -hmm. and like his reactions to it was so weird and visceral yeah. i feel like i'm missing something i don't get why the other people yeah. didn't start freaking out and going i want a burger please give me a burger <laughs> like because yeah. i saw her get away yeah. they, like just accepted it yeah thomas her date i like that he starts out being just like pretty decent guy like every course he, he distanced himself more and more from her it's like there's the rich people there's yeah. The common people and then there's like the cult people thomas's character was the cult people like yeah i didn't see that coming <laughs> and when he <laughs> when he goes to kill himself Dude, that scene was crazy i love that the scene was really tense it was so tense like, he's having a great finds he was so all over the place yeah i like how it felt kind of weird and cobbled together and unsure but also like deathly serious like at the same time yeah like his performance and also just what was happening that's something i loved how like things didn't always go exactly as planned how, that would like, really how, upset him how everyone reacted to that like her being there ruined a lot of things and they had to like basically like improvise their whole plan <laughs> um what do you think he whispered in thomas's ear some people think he insulted him yeah so bad that it just made him want to kill himself yeah i think he just i think he told them to kill himself oh i think he told him for yeah. sure yeah that's after awesome. he just humiliated him yeah, like, you know now kill I mean? yourself yeah, yeah yeah thomas knew he was gonna die when he when he got there right exactly so he didn't yeah, yeah, get yeah. to be a part of that grand death right he that's why it hit him so hard yeah oh okay like, yeah you're, you're not, not gonna, gonna be, be you're not gonna be, you're not gonna be covered in chocolate and i wish they went a little more into it because it was kind of like saw where they all had wronged him in some way i wish yeah. they went a little more into that because i that was like the most interesting part for me really? it was like why they were all there i didn't really think about that that much yeah i thought that was interesting i was mostly interested in how he would interact with her character since mm -hmm. it everything kind of changed for both of them yeah like she wasn't supposed to be there yeah i was mostly focused on her and him and how they would interact and how she would get out of this her being an escort was a good twist yeah that scene in his office where he's like we're both like in the service industry i was kind of thinking whenever they revealed that thomas told his actual girlfriend just to like stay home and then he just said that his girlfriend just broke up with him and he had to get a last minute date yeah I like it better than if he just told her to stay home and he just got some random woman to die. <laughs> Corporate guys, the, the the trio that were like embezzling. Yeah. Money, they were kind of stupid. I really liked their interactions with, uh, what was she? Was she the sous chef? What was she? The people. I think she was like a host. The host. Yeah. I loved her interactions with those three, probably more than anyone else. Mm -hmm. That I liked that a lot. Another like really uncomfortable scene was when uh, their boss and then the guy that funds the island was just like, they, his death where he's like hanging yeah that was really uncomfortable it was uncomfortable <laughs> and it was ambiguous yeah like how did he die like were there piranhas in there like what the or did he just drown I don't or know. drown or like yeah i was i thought he was getting set on fire but they were like oh no we're saving that <laughs> i feel like i'm just like all over the place and like on more watch throughs i think i will settle into either liking it or not liking it it's so purple right now it's not like i like it or don't like it you know what i mean it's so like what yeah. i just have feelings about it i guess 
I think the more I watch it, like I I like it. Uh-huh. I think I'll either like it a lot more or just yeah. my feelings on it won't change. The, I think the reason why I can't not like it yeah. is because it's not taking itself seriously. If it was taking itself seriously and it was supposed to be an actual horror, I would hate it. That's the a, fact that that's it's a really like, good point. Yeah. The fact that it is self-aware, I I I can't not like that. Yeah. I think that's why I like the ending so much. It is so funny and yeah. weird yeah. that she does that and it works. They burn and then she's just there and she chomps and it ends. I'm like, this is a she funny like, movie. She wipes her mouth with the menu. Abrupt ending. I was like... I think the less and less I take it seriously, the more and more I'm just going to really like the movie, actually. And I think that's the way you're supposed to interpret it. I think people that read into it too much, it mm-hmm. becomes a... Weaker movie because yeah. it's not trying to do that. Yeah, it's, it's just know? a watch. It's a watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always like to read like what the director is actually trying to... What they were feeling about it or the writer. Um, and I think that could help. If you're like purple, like like what you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think understanding the production of it can help sway like if the menu writer was like, no, this is my art, needs to be taken seriously, it yeah. needs to really be re- read into to understand yeah, what's yeah, going yeah. on, I'd yeah. hate it. I'd be like, okay. I don't know if I'd hate it or not, but it's like, but then I would know whether I should read in more or not. Mm-hmm. But the fact that it's pushed so heavily is like, this is a satire. Yeah. Please don't take this seriously. It's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah.